Thomas Markle's ex-business partner Carl Larson tried to sue me and also copyright my own video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Leilani of Barbados. Now, you know you're like my family, so I have to tell you everything that's going on. Especially when it's not something that happens to someone every day where someone tries to sue them. Let's get into it. About over a year ago, I made a video reviewing Thomas Markle and Carl Larson's channel, their new YouTube channel called Remarkable Friendship. Some people thought it was going to pop off and do very well. Well, it did. And they're not even friends anymore. And because of that severing of ties with Thomas Markle, of course, Carl Larson can no longer make content on that channel with him. But we'll get into all of that later. The video I made, it didn't do very well at all because their video was so awkward and so boring that it was very hard to do my normal shtick. But I tried my best. I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Carl Larson did not like my video at all. So much so that he held it up on his chest. Over a year later, he approaches YouTube trying to say that this content I made, this video I made, really belongs to him like he owns me which I take issue with because I know and I'm sure he should know well if he doesn't I'll tell him Carl slavery ended a long time ago 400 years ago and you couldn't no longer own people and thank you so much for the flattering uh I guess disposition that you have where you feel like you should own me but that's illegal and therefore alas you cannot do it Please look at my video, by the way. It's very compelling, apparently. <laughs> I get an email from YouTube out of the blue sky saying something about copyright. And I was immediately like, oh no, this is copyright infringement, DMCA takedown is what we call it in YouTube, it is quite serious, yeah? Because if you get three of those, your channel gets taken down completely and you cannot even start a new channel. People have tried, it doesn't work. So, you don't even want one of them. So immediately I was like, okay, you know what? I am going to take down this video. Whatever it is, who at that time I didn't even know who was claiming this with me. I said, you know what? I'm just going to take it down. But what actually happened <laughs> was that YouTube came to my defense <laughs> and declined Mr. Larson's request, citing that my video was fair use, transformative, parody, creative, wonderful, and actually deserves an Emmy for the lighting that I did in that video. <laughs> yeah, they defended me. They sorted it all out. I did not even know this back and forth was going on until they told me this is the result and this is what has been happening and you're good. Spoiler alert for that, but we got to go through this because there is some wildly unhinged things going on in this thread and they sent me the whole thread and they told him that they were going to send me the whole thread so let's look at it together shall we first i got an email with the title copyright takedown request received from your youtube video okay so he was trying to just take down my video he wanted youtube to take down my video because he says he owns my video Hello, we've received a copyright infringement notification below regarding your video. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We are writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your video at this time. You have control over the availability of your videos on your channel, including the ability to delete them if you choose. And they give a link to the video. So I click on the link and I'm here thinking, who did this? I wasn't sure if it was Thomas Markle Sr., Meghan Markle, whoever. I, don't, I just had no idea who it was. Was. So next I get to find out who's actually lodging this complaint. Here's the information you gave us, says YouTube, to the accuser. Copyright owner name, company name if applicable, remarkable friendship, your full legal name, Carl Larson. Oh, the bullfrog! <laughs> the not gorgeous Viking man that has a gorgeous Viking name. So I guess Carl Larson is going to end up being some like Scandinavian Viking god or something. It just sounds like that, his name, Carl Larson. Okay. A Viking he's not. <laughs> Whoa, not what I expected. I'm just wondering what it was that really offended him. Your title or job position. What is your authority to make this complaint? He says self. Your job title, job position is self. So, not sure about that. Username, remarkable friendship. An email address, I have redacted it, but basically, it leads me to, and I don't have to, but it, I did it. It leads me to believe that Thomas Markle might or should have access to this email address. Hey, Thomas, do you know that this is what your ex-business partner is going around doing to people? Let me know. 
down in the comments. Okay, so here this, he gives some timestamps. He says that the copyright infringement occurs at one second to eight seconds. Eight whole seconds of it he's talking about. It is saying, I stay under penalty of perjury that I am the owner or agent authorized act behalf of the owner of exclusive right, my content. He's saying he is the owner of my content. And he signs that Carl Larson under penalty of perjury that all of these things are true. YouTube gets back to him. Hi, Remarkable Friendship. Thank you for your removal request. We've reviewed your request and need some more information from you before we can proceed. We are concerned that your copyright notification may not be valid for the video listed below. Please keep in mind that in many countries, it is legal to use copyrighted works in specific ways without the owner's authorization, particularly for transformative purposes such as news reporting, parody, commentary or review. Some countries protect such use under doctrines of fair use and fair dealing, while others allow for specific exceptions to copyright protection. Wait, Carl, that's me. I'm protected, vaccinated even, no need for a mask. <laughs> yeah, so obviously they had to look at my video and they saw that he's out of line and they are now cautioning him in this email and telling him there are certain ramifications and certain penalties around, you know, him doing false claims and that they're giving him an opportunity to withdraw his request. If you still believe your copyright is infringed by the YouTube video identified below, please explain in detail why you think so. We ask that you provide more detail than was included in your initial notice. Please note that we may share your response with the uploader. And he was like, oh, they want me to say some words. I have some words to say. <laughs> and this is where it gets wild. So this is his email back. <laughs> this is not a parody. She is using our video to drive traffic to her website for capital gain. I promise you, if you don't take it down, I will be filing a lawsuit against you. Not her channel. Oh, thank God. He came to his senses about suing me then. <laughs> but against Google. Just Google me, name Carl Larson, and see if filing lawsuits is not my hobby. Now, please take down this video under the copyright infringement policy. <laughs> thank you, Carl. His grammar errors are shocking for what is supposed to be a very professional email. But what I thought was <laughs> the best, what really tickled me, was that he said... I am suing you, Google, but also please use your search engine, Google, to Google me. <laughs> I have such little faith in you, Google, that I am suing you, but I have enough faith to tell you to Google me. <laughs> this is where I realize that he's wildly unhinged for some reason. I don't know what happened. I don't know what he's been through, but this man is out of his gosh darn mind. But it's not only that, it's also that he thinks it's okay to lie to YouTube's face, knowing that they are going to look at my video and know that I am not passing off as a legal term. I went to law school, Carl. Please be careful going forward with me. But it, it's not that I can pass off his video as my own or that I am trying to do so. It is my big head face in one third of the screen. I know what I'm doing. So it's crazy that he would actually be asked these questions by YouTube and still say, no, 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 I'm sticking to my story. Like, how, how do you have no shame like that? As for the capital gain, I made no money off that video. It was not well received at all by my community, by you guys. In fact, I had a lot of DMs and comments that said, please don't cover this duo anymore. It feels a little bit like elderly abuse. There is Thomas Markle, clearly not very well. This man is clearly taking advantage of him. He's a pap. And I said, you know what? True. Okay. And I didn't do any more videos on them. Anyway, let's get to the last email. <laughs> So the final email is from YouTube and it says, Hi Remarkable Friendship, thank you for your response. We've reviewed it and provided updates below. Request declined. W's, W's in the comments, W's everyone, we won this one. <laughs> We remain concerned that your removal request isn't valid for the video listed below. As a result, the content will remain 
live on YouTube. And they urge him to learn more about copyright because they <laughs> realize he has no idea what is going on. You may take back your claim. They urge him again, you know, because there is a penalty, like I said before, for false claims. Otherwise, it probably will be held against his channel because this is an abuse of the laws. Carl, instead of just looking for money in all the wrong places, why don't you get a job? Oh, I don't know if I explained who Carl Larson actually is. Remember the pap guy who convinced T Thomas Markle Sr. to do these photos of him getting fitted for a suit and we know these pictures. This is Carl Larson. By doing this shoot with Thomas Markle, he ruined Thomas Markle's life. I didn't realize I ruined your life, but I guess I did. Oh. <laughs> and that led to Meghan Markle being very embarrassed, Meghan Markle not trusting her father and saying, what are you doing here? You're working with the paps. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to get down the aisle, okay? So I don't need you to look like you are into the paps because that's actually gonna be our main complaint in the future. So please, it did affect the relationship between Thomas Markle and Meghan Markle. This is the same guy who somehow comes back to Thomas Markle and Thomas Markle is such a softy that he was like, oh, forgive and forget, you know, you did try to find me. And now I'm here on a YouTube channel that I have no control over and I have no idea what I'm doing here and I will definitely never get the revenue from this because I have no idea what I'm doing here. That is the guy. Oh, but I forgot to tell you what happened between him and Thomas Markle. Thomas Markle's former YouTube partner, Carl Larson, says he had to edit out inappropriate things Megan's dad said about the Royals. And this is in 2022, June 2022. They started their channel in March 13th, 2022. The relationship went sour very quickly. He had to then come and disparage Thomas Markle. And this is why I feel so sorry for Thomas Markle. He should never have gotten involved with that bottom feeder. But in that video, Thomas Markle says nothing but good things about the royal family, especially about Queen Elizabeth. In fact, he was siding with them more than his own daughter and Prince Harry. I find it very hard to believe that Thomas Markle said things in that interview that had to be edited out. And of course, in the true fashion of a liar, he does not say in this article what Thomas Markle said that was inappropriate. Carl, I just want you to know that you have put yourself in a public platform. You have disparaged people who you claim to be friends with. After ruining their lives and getting a second chance at friendship with them, you came around and disparaged them. And I know that you know that this is how the game is played, right? It's a high stakes game when you come out here in these YouTube streets and in these, you know, New York Post streets and all these things. So I also know that you know that I can show this picture of your wife and say confidently that you don't have to do this stuff. This is Annalise Larson and she is a strong independent woman and I am showing her picture. I have redacted her contact information, although she would probably prefer that I do show it. So not that I have to redact it, but I am redacting it because it does not serve the purpose. She's a realtor and she does very well. In fact, the company she works for, who puts her profile out here in the public, their main focus is the Calabasas neighborhood of California. And that's where all the Kardashians live and all the celebrities want to live. It's very much the place to be right now. All the rappers, everybody wants to live there. So I could only imagine that she's making very good money selling real estate. I'm not even sure if she's still with this man. How can she still be with Carl Larson? How can you be selling properties to high profile celebrities when you're married to such a bottom feeder paparazzi man who may at any point put your stuff on blast? Hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut you out in front of my house at 4 a.m. Talking about how's it going? It's not going good. Y'all here trying to take money out to, to make money off us. That's how it's going. We were it's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. And you ask me how it's going. It just doesn't go together. And at least does have a job. And so, Carl, why don't you ask Annalise to help you out so that you don't have to do this bottom feeding, life ruining things that you keep trying to do to people? Hmm? How would Annalise's clients feel when they read things like Meghan Markle's father denies involvement in Harry and Meghan's tacky Montecito tour. Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, is denying involvement in a royal sightseeing tour organized by his friend, photographer Carl Larson, that has been halted over privacy concerns. So when you sell celebrity houses, are they not going to be concerned about their privacy also? is what you have to ask yourself. The excursion was advertised on travel firm Trippings website as the Royal Celebrity Tour of Los Angeles and Montecito, an in-depth tour of the area where Megan 42 grew up and where Markle and her husband, Prince Harry 38, call home currently in real time, right? This is Carl Larson's new job, okay? <laughs>
Details about the tour, which cost $1,200 for the group of six, were later scrubbed from the website following backlash. In the since deleted ad viewed by the post, Larson wrote in the description, I am the world famous celebrity photographer Carl Larson, a best friend of Thomas Markle, Megan's father, just in case you're wondering, he says, and the guy with a stunning exclusive portfolio of pictures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle together in Montecito. I didn't see what is this is another lie I don't know passengers were supposed to be taken to the royal couple's famous hangouts in Montecito including various eateries and the Santa Barbara polo and racket club in the listing Larson claimed he is the only one who has an open communication pathway between Markle's camp and the rest of her family much of whom is she's estranged from Thomas Markle is not speaking with this man anymore he says, there is nobody on the planet that knows more info than me. I'm the only person that is qualified to put on such a tour. Thomas Markle Jr. chimed in, under no circumstances whatsoever did my father or myself ever agree to or be aware of being involved in such a ridiculous, cheesy, embarrassing idea of being involved in a tour bus business with Carl Larson, he wrote in a Tuesday statement on Instagram. And furthermore, he says, it is against the law to use somebody's name for advertising without their written permission and a prior business agreement. So guess who's getting sued next? Carl Larson. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> oh my, how the tables have turned. <laughs> anyway, I just want to get back to what I was really doing before this whole debacle, which was editing videos for you, which are creative, transformative, fair use, and absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I do want to get back to the editing work I have to do, but I just wanted to share this with you. And thank you so much. Well, thank you to YouTube for having my back. And thank you for being here and listening to this video about all of this nonsense that went on. I love you so much. And yeah, just don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you did like it. Give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Like, tell me what you think of all of this and oh and don't forget to put w's in the chat w's we are winners it's nice to win some sometimes isn't it love you so much bye love you mm -hmm.